Make a case. Could you make a case, a case that you would trust, that you would throw money to the other side, that the Patriots wouldn't win with, you know, with just that four-point pad? I think it's a tough call. If we're on an even playing field here and you're coming off that Baltimore game and they're licking wounds and they didn't have the extra week and Philly's a full squad, they've got Alshon, they've got everything, well, then that's a different conversation. Uh, but I think when you chip away at it, no Deshaun and no Alshon and you lose your top back, and a quarterback has been okay, but you know you strip away those those extra layers of protection. And in the absence of that back, they lose Darren Sproles, who would be sort of the fill-in that you would expect to help. I mean, there's just too many reasons why it would be difficult to believe that the, that the Eagles would win. And that's I think you know rooting interest in anyone to have a side. So this is when we're talking wagering. It's I think more odds. And I think you'd have to make a really really tough case for why the Patriots wouldn't cover on that minus four it would be a very, very tough sell. So I think that's the way you go this week. I think the points are too, too dangerous because there's a likelihood here that the Eagles get an absolute stall. They're missing so many people. The, the Eagles get held to 10 points, and all of a sudden you're really heavily relying on the Patriots to go put up 36, right? And I just think that's too speculative. I think the Patriots covering that minus four is the best, best gig you got to this week. You know, Matt, you make a very compelling case. I compel. I trust you on this one. Thank you. Well, it's been an up and down year on that, by the way, folks. Uh, no island buying. I think well, we're, that's, we're, that's why I say it, yeah, though. This I is the most that. faith I think I've had in you all season. Oh, well, thank you. So, yeah.